Welcome back, everyone, to my Let's Play of Ogre Battle, March of the Black Queen. Now that Orpheus has the old orb, the gem of truth, and the down gem, he can head back to Shangri-La, to the shrine of Falana, the goddess of justice. And um, with these three uh, gems, she will now grant him the tablet of Yaru. This is an important item because... Uh, we need it to show to uh, the current owners of the 12 Zodiac Stones. So, I'm going to um, complete the Zodiac Stone uh, quest now in this episode. Most of the stones are found uh, in temples, and usually they're uh, the temples that were hidden uh, on older maps. Uh, there's one or two that might be in cities, uh, and then we have a little side quest with Posha in the uh, Diaspora region. My name is Falana, the goddess of justice. I know that you are walking the path of good. The gods all smile upon you. I know that you have the power to calm this troubled world. However, if that peace does not last, then all is lost. If you wish true peace, collect all twelve of the stones of the zodiac. If you can do that, then lasting peace may be possible. Please take this. It's the Tablet of Yaru. This tablet will prove to all that you are heirs to the stones of the zodiac. Good luck. And with that, we get the Tablet of Yahoo, and um, like I said, all you have to do is just go to uh, different uh, places, and we'll get the stone. So we, there's actually one right here on this map. We'll just head to this uh, temple that was hidden, and uh, they will give us a stone, you'll see. So, look. Here we go. Oh, Orpheus, you have the Tablet of Yahoo. Please let me give you the Stone of the Zodiac, the Sapphire. All right, we got the Sapphire. So one twelfth down to go. So one twelfth down, 11 more to go. And all, like I said, we'll just be going along through all the different maps to uh, grab each of the stones. So, yeah, we'll head to the Rune City here. Grab another stone. Like I said, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is uh, just go to the correct uh, temple or city, and that's it. So, with the exception of that one. So, we have this temple that was hidden up here in the mountains, and we'll get our second Zodiac Stone. The Zodiac Stones, uh, we were told, each of them uh, holds the power of one of the 12 white mages who helped humanity uh, defeat the ogres uh, and demons back in the ogre battle. So, definitely want to uh, grab them. Not because we can use them in battle, but because uh, we know that Rashidi is after them. Can't let him get his dirty hands on him. So here's this, another stone of the Zodiac, the Diamond. So, yep, this will just be a quick uh, little uh, shorter episode of just going to all the different areas and grabbing the stones that we need. So back to the Ryan Sea. So yeah, if you didn't know where to look, uh, this could be a little bit tricky because you're basically going around uh, visiting all these old places again, but that's why I'm here to show you where things are. So, hidden temple here in the southeast. We'll first we'll go grab it. 25% of the way done. What stone is this one? Let's see. The Topaz. Uh, my birthstone is an emerald. It's uh, green. And I'm a Taurus. I was born in May. So, I don't know all the other... Uh, uh, I know some of the Zodiac uh, constellations. Uh, but I don't necessarily know uh, all their months that they are uh, 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 coming. So, or they uh, correspond to. So, and I know many of them because, uh, growing up, I, uh, I watched the Toonami Gundam Wing, uh, and they named most of the mobile suits there after the, uh, different, uh, uh, symbols of the Zodiac. So that's just how I remember them, just based on mobile suits from Gundam Wing. Alright, we get our fourth stone here, the Amethyst. Alright. 
and each of these stones, uh, when I collect them all, I'll uh, show them in my inventory. They each uh, symbolize a certain like uh, characteristic, a uh, certain quality. So, a good uh, honorable quality that you'd want to have. So, <laughs> almost uh, speaking of games with like uh, qualities and things that are good to have, I'm thinking of uh, uh, the Ultima series. They have an interesting uh, little thing with a virtue starting in uh, Ultima 4. There's the three main virtues and um, uh, love, uh, truth, love, courage. And then different combinations of them form different uh, form different uh, virtues, and then all three of them together uh, form like spirituality. So they, 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 there's a uh, uh, it's yeah, it's an interesting little system. Uh, so I'll eventually talk more about that when I eventually play uh, Ultima Four. I plan on eventually doing uh, all the Ultima games. Uh, I have Ultima, well not all the Ultima games, I have Ultimas 1 through 6. Uh, I got Ultimas 1 through and 3 on a, uh, a pack, for real cheap, for like 3 bucks, on good old games, GOG.com. And I also got uh, five, six, 4, 5, 6 in a, a pack like that. Alright, Tablet of Yaru, yep. Give us a fifth stone, the Torquoise. Uh, but if you have never seen that, the Ultima games, just want to try them. On GOG, uh, you can get Ultima 4 uh, for free. So that's like a free download uh, there. So, uh, yeah, you can just see how that one goes. Uh, that's Like I said, that was a big major turning point, I think, uh, in the series. It's the start of the second uh, set of trilogies, the uh, Age of Enlightenment. The first three formed the uh, Age of Darkness. Uh, Ultima 1, you face Mondane, then his apprentice Minax, and Ultima 2. And those are kind of like uh, a big mishmash of things. There's like fantasy, sci fi. Oh, you have the Tablet of Yaru. Then I have something to give you. Please take the stones or like the pearl, huh? Where did it go? Uh oh. How embarrassing. Well, please take this ginger cake instead. Sorry. Yeah, remember when we got here, we were told that there was a monk who's very forgetful uh, on the east side of the island? Well, here's the forgetful monk. He lost his, uh, the pearl. But he did give us this ginger cake. This is why we need that, uh, we need to save, uh, uh, we had to get the beehive for Poshul's mother uh, back in Diaspola. Because she's, uh, we got to give that ginger cake to her. And we'll see what happens with it, but... But yeah, getting back on, uh, Altos 1 and 2 were kind of just a mix, mix mash of like sci-fi and fantasy. You know, your uh, Ultima 1, you had to go out into space and like a space shell and shoot uh, TIE fighters. Uh, it was kind of a, like a conglomeration of like uh, science fiction and fantasy. Ultima 2 was a little bit like that too. Uh, you know, you travel through time. Uh, you had to get spaceships again, go through the universe. Uh, had to go to Planet X to get uh, Father Antos's blessing to get a ring. Uh, that allowed you to walk through force fields in Minax's castle. Uh, Ultima 3, though, that's where it started really getting the whole fantasy route. And, and Ultima 4 started that and stayed with that fantasy thing. And we got the Ruby, our sixth stone of the Zodiac. Yeah, I'll eventually play the, uh, first three. I mean, the first six. Uh, and then there's a few other spin-offs. Uh, one of the things that are, uh, in addition to being, uh, uh, the F uh, Ultima 4 being free on GOG, you can also get, uh, two of the spin-offs for free on, uh, GOG as well, GOG.com, uh, Savage Empire and, uh, Motion Dreams. And one of the things about the Ultimate games is they were all, uh, basically, they all used, like, new engines each time they were, uh, each new release. But I guess when they made Ultima 6, they wanted to get a little bit more, uh, uh, use out of that, uh, engine that they made for Ultima 6. And, uh, then they, uh, so they released these, like, two side s stories. The, uh, Martian Dreams and, uh, Savage Empires. I got a topaz now. But oh, they, it was the opal, but the lady said it was a topaz. 
Ah, once again, we have another weird typo in an old Super Nintendo game. Wow. Hm. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll forgive them. In the end, eventually, like I said, we'll get all 12 of the stones, so. Yeah, once again, another stone hidden in a hidden temple there. So, look. This temple, though, was not a hidden temple, but it was the temple where we, uh, made our stand for the most part in, uh, when we were fighting the em Empire here in the slums of Zenobia. And we got the Garnet. So that is the eight, I believe. I was more talking about, uh, Ultima and all them. Uh, but yeah, I'm not, uh, interested in doing the Ultima's, uh, seven, eight, and nine. Eight and nine were apparently very poorly received, uh, and seven just doesn't really interest me. Although people say that's like the best one in the series, but mm, I like the simplicity that you know Ultimas one through six kind of give. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna head up here to uh, this hidden temple here where we recruited Asia so long ago. Wow, Orpheus has come a long, long way in his adventure here. And this will be number nine, 75%. If I've been counting right. The Emerald, that's my birthstone. It's green. I know that because uh, when I got my high school ring for graduation, they uh, put your birthstone in it. So, all right. So, what do we got here? One, a cake. Baked by a bored but talented monk. All right, you wanna make sure you have this cake before you head to Diaspola. And we can pick up two of the Zodiac stones here. One is gonna be in a city, uh, a hidden city, and the other one we're gonna get by taking that ginger cake to Posha. So we're gonna head here first to this hidden city. We hung out here in this city for a little bit. You know, we were trying to take over this area from Norn, who eventually joined our party. It was important that we got Norn to, Norn to join our party because without her, we couldn't get uh, Debonair to join. All right, what, what stone do we got here? The Aquamarine. Aqua. Huh? There's a... Aqua, I was about to talk about somebody named Aquas coming up soon, but I'll wait because not too far from that city is this city where Posha lives. Uh, so we want to go to her real quick here. Sell some stuff because I'm almost done with all the uh, uh, Zodiac stones, so clear up my inventory a little bit because I'll be going through once I finish the uh, getting all the stones. Uh, I'll show you them all off so we can read what they all symbolize and what they do. So, just clear up some inventory so it's easier to find all this stuff then later. So, a battle bugle, all these pointless items that we've been picked up. There's a staff, that's a good item, but uh, we're not making any more liches, so yeah, get rid of it. We'll keep these swords though, because they're uh, pretty good uh, boosts though. Pumpkin Plus, we already got our Halloween, so we don't need any more of them. So, all right. Let's uh, head here to Posha and give her this ginger cake. Oh, a ginger cake. I love those. Hey, can I have some? Sure. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Munch, munch, munch. Ouch. Hey, what's this? Hey, there's a pretty rock in here. What is it? Well, I don't need it, though. Here, you take it. And that'll be the pearl. Remember, the monk said, I have the pearl, but he couldn't find it. Yeah, he must have dropped it in the ingredients when he was making that cake. So, all right. Let's head here to Muspelm. Get a, uh, the last Zodiac Stone here. And there's something else you can do in uh, in, in Muspelm. Uh, so, just looking for the correct city. But there's a city, if you have all 12 of the Zodiac Stones, you can take the Zodiac Stones to that city, and the one character will, uh, the person at the city will be like, hey, you have the, all the Zodiac Stones, if you give them to me, I'll give you like a set of dream crowns. 
and uh, if you give them to him, he'll give you 99 crowns. And uh, of course, uh, each of those crowns can make a princess. So if you want the peridot, uh, if you want, you can have uh, you know you can have a hundred uh, units max in your army, so you can have uh, your opinion leader and a hundred princesses or 99 princesses. Uh, that's kind of overkill, and it may not be actually effective because. Uh, who would you have for healing? You wouldn't have any of those monks or anything, so, uh, for healing, I guess you just have to heal out of battle, uh, but you might have spent a lot of money on, like, revives and all heals and cure potions, so, we have all 12 of the zodiac stones here now, so, the garnet, the first stone, signifies rulership, amethyst, it signifies reverence, the second, aquamarine, the third, signifies peace, diamond, the fourth, signifies wisdom. Emerald, the fifth, leadership. Pearl is the sixth, and it signifies constancy. Seventh is ruby, and it signifies honor. Eighth is the peridot, and what does it signify? Knowledge. Nine, sapphire, and that signifies victory. Tenth is the opal, signifies compassion. Eleventh is the topaz, signifies prosperity. And the twelfth and final is the turquoise, signifies royalty. So I made a save before I went here, so I'm just going to show off what you, uh, what happens if you, uh, trade all those stones. Well, I always told you what happens, but we'll see the dialogue that occurs. So, but of course we will not be doing that because, uh, that's why I made that save here, so I can just show what happens, but then reload that save, because we want to get, you know, the best ending, in order to get the best ending in the game, you need to have the 12 Zodiac Stones, so. Mm -hmm. Just befriend another Raven Man, not that we need him, but we recruited some other neutral characters earlier. So, surprisingly, if you go back to Falana, the shrine of her, she doesn't say anything when you come back with all the Zodiac Stones. So, no need to head back there. Oh, you head up to this city here? Will you give me those Zodiac Stones? Uh, no. Well, if you change your mind, please come back. Yes, yeah, so we can come back uh, at any time. Anytime you say no, he gives you like two choices, so you don't accidentally say yes and lose them all. All of them? Yes, thank you very much. In return, I will give you this complete set of royal crowns. We got a crown. But well, not just one crown, because if we look at our inventory, we have 99 crowns. So yeah, we can have 99 princesses. So, wow, that's a lot of princesses. So, speaking of princesses, eventually four of my princesses will be, uh, they'll be the heroes that I use in Ultima uh, 3 when I do that game eventually. But that is the completion of the uh, Zodiac Stone side quest. Uh, meet me back uh, in our next episode. We continue on with the plot. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.